Hello and welcome to another session of how to become a financial analyst. Today we'll be discussing a very interesting uh, function in Excel which is called data consolidations. Okay, uh, what basically data consolidation do that uh, you can gather a data from a separate sheets or ranges or source and can and can consolidate it into one sheet over there. Okay. Secondly, with the help of uh, consolidation, uh, you can introduce a concept of standardization of data into your work, into your company. You can discuss these words with your with you, with your with you, with your colleagues and seniors. Uh, you can um, introduce the words like automated templates. Uh, you can bring in more efficiency and accuracy into your work. Okay. So before I start. Uh, if you want to go into a data ribbon and in data ribbon you can always find over here consolidation so that's the function we will be using today and let me give you a couple of examples before we start uh, or let, I will I will give you these examples maybe uh, some like the for example uh, let me give you an example uh, maybe you are working for a sister concern uh, companies and there are five six or couple of six, uh, con uh, companies and you want to merge their data that can be an overheads data that can be a revenue data that can be a GL codes or whatever it is um, if uh, there's a standardization in those companies which normally always have you can merge different uh, datas into a main sheet uh, second concept is if you are sitting in a head office and uh, people uh, from different parts of the city uh, or a country is updating you on a sales uh, numbers on a daily basis or a weekly basis and you want to compile that uh, data coming from uh, hundreds of different sources or dozens of different sources and you want to compile them as one uh, then data consolidation can help you uh, if you are into an educational institute and uh, you want to consolidate the different semesters results during the during the studies of the students into a final sheet uh, this uh, concept can help you and the concept which we are discussing here now is um, in many parts of the world uh, there's a concept of a primary sales and the secondary sales primary sales is when most of the companies sell their products to the wholesalers in the market and once uh, the wholesaler sells it to the retailers that is a secondary so primary and secondary concepts uh, primary is always in their control they always have the numbers but for secondary they rely on those uh, wholesalers or uh, uh, re big retailers to provide them the data that how much sales has been done on a weekly or daily or monthly basis because they have to uh, they have to uh, they have to provide the goods back to and bring the back stock back to that level where they can have a good inventory with those wholesalers or retailers because they have to maintain the monthly sales numbers also. so here um, i'm showing you that this is my main this is one of the uh, consumer goods company uh, which has more than 100 products so um, these are some imagined products this is their sku numbers this is the serial and this is their um, there are two divisions which is called household products and pharmaceutical products and um, uh, they they rely on their uh, wholesalers or uh, distributors to provide them the secondary sales data so that they can update them on a weekly basis to analyze their sales positions okay and who are their uh, wholesalers and distribution for example walmart is there costco is there kroger is there tesco is there uh, careful is there and metro let's take an example of these uh, six uh, sheets here okay now if you don't know uh, many of the options then um, uh, you may do with using some other uh, techniques you may compile them as a pivot table you may compile it as a vlookup yeah you can solve it but i think that will take you more time uh, as compared to a consolidations so if you have done the consolidation then everything is you can do it in a few minutes uh, again uh, i have already told you that there's only one precondition to uh, consolidation and that is the standardization of the form so for example over here my first record is coming on b3 in the main file and if i go into the center my first record is coming on b3 and if i go on to the last record and 
my result is coming onto the B3. So column and references should be standard. That's why I use the word standardization of the form. So what I'll do, I want to merge all of these uh, data which I've received on a weekly basis into one main sheet so that I can report to my salespeople. And before we go there, what I've already done here, that I bring the totals of those sheets over here. So at the end of uh, everything, I want to see these totals over here and that's how i know that my consolidation is working perfectly okay and this is i've done through a linking process so let's start a job so what i'll do is i go into a data ribbon and i say consolidate and now the big advantage with consolidation is um, it can it giving me more than more functions i can sum i can count how many um, how many uh, characters are there I can take an average of the numbers, I can pick maximum numbers from my range, I can pick minimum and so on. So I can do so many things with the help of a consolidation. So reference means if there are any previously created, you can you can always delete them. So delete, delete this thing and delete this range. I want to create everything from new. So what is my reference or my data source is here, a Walmart. So what I will do, I will go control home on the top and I will select from the first record because rest uh, B, C, D and E columns are standard everywhere. So I just want interested in the figures. And from here, I will say shift control and down arrow key. I will not take a total. I will take the till the last and I says add. Now, as you can see that Walmart has been added from F3 to, to I102. Okay. And now the moment I go into Costco, see, because of the standardization system already, Excel already know your range. You don't have to define a range for the second uh, source of data. You simply, it's already there. You say add. Then as soon as you move into the third source, it's already predefined. So simply say add. For the fourth, again, it is predefined. You say add. Curf care for add and metro add and once you have add all six simply says okay and here the main file which was previously blank has been filled by the numbers and the good thing is how you fill the number nobody knows because there's no formula coming there's no such thing coming that you have added the numbers from different source and now if i go at the bottom i can see by these results are 100 percent match with the with the source data so i'm not I'm, com I'm very comfortable now that the data which I'm reporting as a consolidated numbers are reconciled with my source number. Okay. The only disadvantage over here is this, that right now week one is showing me 10,000 over here. But if I go on to a Walmart and example, I make it zero. Now, this will not affect to this number. Why? Because there's no link between the source data and the and the main data uh, either I have to run the consolidation one more time that's only one thing that once I do and the refresh data will come okay what is the second way of doing all those things the second way of doing all those things that's why I created two uh, different masters so I will leave this here and the second source over here so in our previous example as you know that uh, we have consolidated the data but the source was not over there so to solve this problem what I'll do I've made another copy of a main file which is totally blank over here and we will do the way so that we can create a link between the source file and the and the consolidated data so for that what i will do i will again go into the data ribbon and over here is consolidation if there's any previous um, ranges i will definitely delete them and i cannot delete all in one i have to delete one by one so it's all there now here what is the source? For example, I want to add these numbers. Say, okay. Then I will go to is. So in our previous exercises, we thought that we, we have seen that uh, we have consolidated data, but there is no link between the data. And if somebody changes the source data, 
my console data will not be updated because there is no link. Um, there can be a situation where after the month end, I don't want people to update the data and I log the data and whatever I've consolidated, I don't want people to change it. And I don't give the rights for to people to change any of the data once the, uh, once the monthly numbers are been finalized. But there can be a situation where if, an, if somebody want to make any correction at the last moment, they may allow it. So in that case, what I'll do, I've made another file which uh, which is apparently everything is zero over here in the main file and we will create a consolidation link in such a way that there is a link between uh, to maintain a link between the consolidated data and the source data for that what i will do is i will go into the home ribbon and go in consolidation and if there are any such thing which is already there i will delete that thing and yes sum what is my range over here i will go into the into i will go into the reference what is my range i will come into the walmart I will go on to the top shift control down arrow key I don't want total I want the data I will say add this thing then I go into Costco and range is already selected here so I don't want to show you all six there just for example let me just add these two and before I click OK there's a option which say create a links over there so I can click this thing and say OK and now if I click any of the record here, you can see that there are two numbers which are added and the total is 3512 which is written here. Now, if I go on to product number four over here, which is 2398 as product number, which is 3512, product number five, sorry so five says 1576 so if i do it zero here and say enter into the walmart and i go come here over here you can see that number has been has been deleted or pairing zero so now there is a link between my source data and my main data over here okay so um i hope that uh, you have learned something um, new from the consolidation over a uh, consolidation option over here um, if you want me to cover any specific example uh, from a consolidation point of view then you can share your data uh, in your uh, remarks below and i will get back to you as soon as possible uh, please don't forget to uh, to subscribe uh, my uh, channel uh, so that you can get the updates as soon as we put in new uh, videos and uh, thanks for tuning in bye